why. I mean, that's all that matters to me. You know, I might look at all the things I've done in the season, or you know, when I'm graduating from here, but right now I'm just trying to focus on winning games. Do you and, feel like you, oh, sorry. And the uh, ovation, the applause that you got when you wow, were leaving the game today, how did that feel? That felt great. You know, I really appreciate these fans, you know, the Michigan people that come out and support us night in and night out. So, you know, I give my gratitude to them and be really thankful to have them. Do you feel, a little more, <laughs> feel like you can be a little more aggressive when Mo's not out there? Yeah, I mean, I have to be the same aggressive when Mo is. That's why these teams really take great strides. Me and Mo have to really learn how to play together and be aggressive with one another. You ready for a little time off here? Yeah, you know, I get to see some family, you know. We've been going very hard, so I'm excited. Were you aware back. that that was a <laughs> season high for you when you were leaving the game? Huh? Or, what, were you aware that that was your career high for points when you left the game? Nah, I was looking at the coaches on getting me back in here. <laughs> you know, it was fun to see those guys that don't play as much but still be working just as hard as we do to get out there and get some great minutes. So when did you find out that that was a career high for you? No. Nah. <laughs> it ain't hard to see. I mean, I ain't really played that. This really my first year playing college basketball. I ain't scored too many points in my career. You talked a lot about getting, just getting the win, but how were you feeling out there personally? Just yourself? Uh, like I said, we just started on the defensive end. You know, you really lose yourself in the game. You're just out there competing, working hard on the defensive end. I give Coach Yock a lot of credit for that. But on the offensive side, you know, me and Coach Dre Haynes, we work night in and night out. You know, every day in practice, he's on me, teaching me different moves, different ways to get my shots off. So Coach Haynes and Coach b is really helping me come more. Thanks. Charles, you're going to get a break, but you're going to get a break here. But do you feel like you're you're playing your best right now? Do you feel like you're as comfortable as you've been uh, since the season started after the last you know three four games you've, you've had here? I don't know. I mean, I feel like you really don't know when you're playing your best. Like you just stay in the moment. You mm -hmm. just kind of try to continue to take everything day by day. And then when they saw us and none, he was like, "That was a good stretch for me." So right now, I'm just trying to stay competitive, stay learning, and just stay within the team. Is the offense coming to you easier? Do you think? I mean, is it? Uh, like I said, like I said uh, I'm learning the pace and the timing more, but I'm really just studying and film. Yeah. Um, like I said, Coach Haynes is really working with me on my offensive skill set. So when I get in positions, I'm knowing where the shots are coming and I'm knowing how to execute. When you get into a game like this, it's on your offside. You, you look to gain from it personally as an end as a team. Discipline. You know, uh, games like this, you, you can't just start doing bonehead plays. Um, you know, I have a few times where I forced it on the transition break to Coach B. Rightfully so, took me out and he let me know what I did wrong. So we got to stay true to our values and we got to play Michigan ball. You know, still, that's off to Alabama and them. I think they traveled all the way up here on the bus. So, and they got, my bad, they got Georgetown coming up, so I give them respect as well. <laughs>